Hello everybody! In today's video, I'm going to show you what to do if your mouse suddenly stops working. How to find out what caused this problem, the mouse, the computer or the settings of your operating system and how to solve it. If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. When you face such a problem, don't give way to despair. Quite often, this is something you can fix absolutely on your own. However, most people would take a mouse to a computer repair shop or just buy a new one without trying to find out why it doesn't work properly any longer. So, if your mouse stops working suddenly, don't hurry to buy a new device. Watch this video till the end and see what can be done to put things right. So, let's begin. In fact, there are not too many reasons why a computer mouse should get out of order, and just a few important things to consider. First of all, the type of this device – mechanical, optical, wired or wireless – and the interface it uses to connect to your computer. The first step is to disconnect the mouse from the corresponding port on your computer and then plug it back. If it doesn't help, restart the computer. The situation depends largely on the interface the mouse is using. Most computers recognize a USB mouse instantly and make changes to their configurations, but with PS2 mice, restarting is a must. In most cases, this simple trick can fix the issue. If the mouse doesn't work after restarting, try connecting it to another laptop or PC to check if they can recognize it. If the mouse works properly with another computer, then there must be a problem with the USB port. Find another device, such as a flash drive, and check if it works with the USB port in question. Try connecting the mouse to a different port. Here is an important piece of advice. Some keyboards feature additional USB ports and natural people can't resist the temptation of plugging their mice right there. Unfortunately, too often these ports perform miserably, so it's always a better idea to plug such a USB device into a port in the back panel of the system unit. If the mouse and the USB port seem fine, let's move on. With wireless mice, one of the most widespread troubles is the battery inside that may get too low. If you have this kind of mice, try replacing the battery. Also, have a closer look at the battery. Sometimes it can be covered with white fluff corrosion. If this is what you see, the corroded battery may leak and damage the contacts inside the mouse. In that case, all you can do is to replace the old mouse with a new one. If you have a mouse plugged into a PS2 port, Try connecting it to a USB port with a special adapter if you have one. Also, examine the plug of such mouse. PS2 contains several thin pins, which can be bent easily if you're not careful enough. If a pin is bent, try to fix it. If it's impossible or the pin is broken, uh, there is no other option but to buy a new mouse. There are also adapters that make it possible to use a USB mouse with a PS2 port, so you can try one to plug your USB mouse into a PS2 port. This way, you can save a few USB ports for other devices. Another widespread problem is of mechanical nature – a broken button. This button helps to send the pressure signal to the microchip. There is little sense in soldering it – just buy a new mouse instead. Also, buttons or wheel may not work or work sporadically because of dust, junk and fluff that accumulate inside the mouse over time. That's when cleaning pure and simple will fix the problem. Take the mouse apart and clean it. Another problem that happens so often is freezing, when a mouse stops moving while a window is opened, closed or minimized. Here is why it usually happens. A frozen app. Try opening the task manager with the key shortcut Ctrl Shift Escape to see if there are any apps that don't respond. To end such a task, use the Tab key to switch to the list of tasks and the arrow keys to select the one you need. Now press the key shortcut Shift plus F10 or a special key. Select End task and press Enter. Also, a mouse can freeze when a CD or DVD is inserted into the optical disk drive or when a hard drive is connected. Try ejecting the CD, DVD from the drive and the mouse will wake up immediately. Talking of hard disks. If a mouse or even the entire computer freezes when you try to open a folder or file, 
this is clearly the first sign of hard disk issues. If you are a happy owner of a gaming mouse dotted with extra buttons, you should know they usually come supplied with drivers which need to be installed, while proceeding without such drivers may cause performance issues. Also, a mouse may behave unpredictably due to the wrong settings. If you have a new mouse or you're using a freshly installed Windows, I recommend checking its settings in the first place. To do it, open Control Panel. Press the key shortcut Windows plus R and type the command Control. Use Tab, Enter and Arrow keys to open the section Hardware and Sound, Devices and Printers. Now select your mouse and press the key shortcut Shift plus F10 or this key. For laptops with multimedia keyboards, use the combination Shift, Fn, F10. In the list that appears, select Mouse settings. Then switch to the tab Pointer options and use the following settings. Pointer speed. Set it as you think fit. Also, I recommend checking the box for enhanced pointer precision and disabling pointer trails. You may leave other settings as they are. In addition, check the tabs Wheel and Buttons to configure the mouse for your needs. A piece of advice. If you have a laptop, open the touchpad settings. In On my device it's ELAN section. The matter is that the touchpad settings may have options enabled that decide when a USB mouse is enabled or disabled. For example, if the touchpad is enabled, the mouse will be turned off, and vice versa. Sometimes a mouse may stop working as a frozen and then it comes alive again. Most often it happens in either of the two cases – problems with the cable or the connector. If there is poor contact in one of these places, the mouse may seem to connect and disconnect at its own will. This problem can only be eliminated by purchasing a new mouse, as it's unlikely that you would take the trouble of soldering the cable. Many users tend to underestimate the integrated Windows troubleshooter, but there are cases where it can help to you to solve the problem in a quick and easy way. For starters, open Control Panel, Windows plus R, Control, Use the tab key and arrow keys to open the section Hardware and Sound, Devices and Printers. Select the mouse and press Shift plus F10, then select Troubleshoot. It starts the wizard to help you fix the problem. Drivers are among the usual suspects when a mouse doesn't work. They may get damaged by a virus or the operating system may have installed a wrong driver by default. Open the Device Manager. To do it, press the key shortcut Windows plus R and type the following command. In the Device Manager, check the tab Mice and other pointing devices to see if there are any devices with a yellow exclamatory mark. If everything is OK, I recommend updating the mouse driver. To do it, use the tab key and arrow keys on your keyboard to select the mouse. Then uh, press Shift plus F10 and select Update Driver. By the way, if you are using a wireless mouse, check the Bluetooth driver and try reinstalling it as well. After all, make sure the Bluetooth adapter is turned on. Jokes aside, yes, some guys do forget this part. In Windows 10, do it by opening Start, Settings, choosing Devices and checking the Bluetooth section. Here is a switch to turn Bluetooth on or off. Finally, the last thing that might have caused the problem is viruses. Not only can they infect and corrupt your files, format hard disks, steal personal data, but also block access to certain devices, damage drivers, and so on. That is why another consequence of a virus attack might be problems with your good old mouse. In our channel, there is a good video on how to find and remove any kind of virus, and you can find the link in the description. And that is all for now. I hope this video was useful for you. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Push the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions and share your opinion. Thank you for watching and good luck!